Part of the exciting thing about being a writer on, in any medium is that you discover things inside of yourself, people inside of yourself, knowledge inside of yourself that you didn't know, you had no idea that you had. When people say, write what you know, I think the first question should be, how do you know what you know? I mean, when you say, write what you know, aren't you really sort of saying, write what you're sort of lazily conscious of knowing? as opposed to what you probably know that you don't realize you know. Um, and you know, anybody who's written about human consciousness is, makes, you know, you know that, uh, that the structure of human consciousness is not flat and horizontal, it's vertical as much as it is anything, and there are depths and depths and depths, and you know, as Whitman says, we contain multitudes. So part of the exciting thing about being a writer on, in any medium is that you, if you start to like dig around in there and use words and the muscular activity of writing, you discover things inside of yourself, people inside of yourself, knowledge inside of yourself that you didn't know, you had no idea that you had. If you're writing a play and you, and you believe that you are teaching people something that you know and they don't know, you have to condescend to them. You're going to be bored because you're going over information you already have, and consequently you're going to bore them, which I think for a playwright is the worst sin of all, because you're really an entertainer. An audience gets very smart very fast. It's hard work to stay ahead of them. So if you're just recycling stuff, you know, it's, it's okay to be gay, be nice to gay people, then you know you know that already. You pretty much know that everybody in the theater knows it, and we're all bored, and we'll you know sign the pledge and go home and watch Breaking Bad and have or Project Runway and have a, or, or RuPaul's Drag Race and have a much better time. I think that the reason that writing teachers tell you to write what you know is because writing has a lot to do with specificity and detail. And if you're not real and specific, if you don't know what hour the sun comes up, or you know where in Tennessee this jar is, or whatever your poem is not going to be any good. And so writing teachers tell people, write what you know so that you'll be, you know, dealing with what, but you know, it turns out, even though when I started reading about Afghanistan in 1997, most people weren't thinking about it, I knew very little about it. Uh, it turns out you know a lot about it. You, you read a few books, you think about it, you meet some Afghans, and you start to, you know, find commonalities between your experience and, and other people's experience. You take a few guesses, and sometimes they turn out to be absolutely accurate, which is pretty swell. It's an enormously important exercise for you, and I think it produces the, the, the best writing. And you, you really do discover that, you know, I mean, it's just, a, it's just a mistake to believe that you're conscious enough of your own interior to, to know what you may and may not do. And then also, when you've finished writing it, especially if you're a playwright, you give it to actors. If you, when I wrote Carolina Change, which is a musical about African American, primarily about an African American woman who works as a maid in 1963, I mean, of course, I was scared to do that because I'm white, I'm Jewish, I'm gay, I'm male. But uh, one thing that helped was that I knew that the person who was going to play the lead role, Caroline, was going to be an African American woman, and that in the case of the production, I knew that the director, George Wolfe, was going to be, uh, was an African American, and that in my collaboration with them, the things that inevitably I got wrong, they'll help me fix. And, uh, and then the audience will help you fix them, because the audience will tell you, part of being a playwright is to learn how to read an audience, and they'll tell you very quickly what you got and what you didn't get. And, uh, and then you start to make adjustments. And, uh, you know, it's, not, it's never about being right. I think the information that's important is almost as, uh, uh, it's almost as significant uh, um, to show an audience what you're reaching towards as, as reaching towards it and, and getting it. And being willing to fail, as Melville says, is an important part of that. If, you, if you're afraid of a shipwreck, you're never going to leave the shore and you never go anywhere. So I think, I think you, you hazard a lot and, and, and you may get there and in some ways you absolutely won't. You know, all art fails. All art is Orpheus trying to get Eurydice from the underworld. It's all about trying to get the dead to come back to life. We, I don't think we would make art, plays or anything else, if we didn't have trouble with mortality. And so all art always fails because it, as far as we know it's never actually resurrected the dead and it never will, so failure is a big part of it, and embracing that, I think, is an important thing. 
I'm uh, Tony Kushner, and I'm uh, encouraging all of you to subscribe to Thinker. Uh, the content is extraordinary and, uh, and exciting, and it will actually make you think.